So it is February the 18th, 2021, and today officially, five, six hours ago, seven hours ago, my house has just exchanged. What a journey it's been. I've only seen it once for like 10 minutes because um, last year when I visited, we were still kind of in lockdown. I got a call in August 2020. Um, actually, prior to that, I was going for a flat. I wanted to buy a flat in April 2020. I wanted to buy this flat and I was very specific in my prayer. I wanted it to be close to my home, my family home and my church. And I was so excited and I, I literally thought I hit the nail on the head. Everything went through, the mortgage application was approved, got surveyed, bam. Then when it got surveyed, we realized that the flat had cladding on the flat. So um, my lenders needed a thing called an EWS1 form, which is an external wall survey. And um, the at the time, the property managers just couldn't provide it. So um, this led me to pull out of the transaction, unfortunately. And so in August, I can't remember the exact date, but I know it was a Saturday and I was due to play football. And I got a call the day before to say there's a slot to view this house in Chingford. Now I thought, mm, yeah, it's a nice house from the pictures, but I don't really think, um, I, I, to be honest, I just wanted to play football. Um, but I decided, okay, I'm gonna sacrifice it, be a bit late view the house, I viewed the house and immediately I was like, this is the one. Big shout out to Chloe. Because when I had issues with the flat, she said um, there'll be something bigger and better. And surely, um, yeah, yeah, there was something bigger, bigger and better. It was, uh, it went from a flat to a house with a garden. So um, this is the before. So I haven't actually got the keys yet because I'm going to get them the 5th of March, which is in two weeks time. So on the 5th of March, I'll tune in with you guys and we'll collect the keys together and we'll have a look. Thank you. So I've got my solicitor on the line. I've got a call. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, what was that? Sorry? Yeah, hopefully she won't come back and ask, but I can't see any money on here. Outstanding so she has to work it out. So, right, I'm so happy that I had saved extra money when I was buying my property because obviously today is the 5th of March. Uh, forgive me if my lips are dry. <laughs> I just woke up, it was like 11 o'clock. I had a lazy teenager mo uh, moment. Um, it's the 5th of March, completion day today, and my solicitors called to say, oh, you know, the seller's solicitors are saying you owe another £500. Bruh. Bruh. So I told them, mm -mm. So my solicitors are investigating the invoice because we feel that their calculations are wrong. <sighs> Officially paying bills like a grown up. Besides that, I really want to, um, I really want to thank God, to be honest, because, um, I know people say it as cliche, oh, nothing would have been possible without him, but nothing would have been possible without him. And when I was younger, I, um, for those who might not know, my parents were missionaries in Jamaica, and I left at the age of 16 to go to Jamaica, which was, like, in the middle of, uh, sixth form for me. And when I got to the Caribbean, I, I went sixth form there for a year. But I never like pursued university. And I, I was always of the opinion, like, I was of the mindset of, like I remember my teacher saying, if you don't study, if you don't go to uni, you're gonna be a bum, etc., etc." And I thought, oh man, like, I'm never gonna be able to own a home. I'm never gonna be able to, you know, I don't know, that's just my thinking. I just thought because I have to be super well educated in order to achieve these uh, milestones in life. And, um... Uh, sorry, I think my sister's wondering who I'm talking to. Man, look, here we are. Started the process of looking when I was 24. 
and uh, 26, everything's been pretty much done. I'm so excited to show you the house. Like, is it really weird? Is it just me now? Right, let me finish packing. No, wrapping these boxes. Not putting nothing in there yet, just wrapping them. Why am I wrapping them? Just to give me something to do until the solicitors call me. Yeah. Right, got the message to collect my keys. I am on my way, waiting for my dad, he's chatting on the phone. All right, let's go. So, we're just ripping out the carpets. Sorry for the shaky camera. Just gonna change the carpets, the walls, things like that. Bathroom, it's gonna stay the same. Uh, we'll go downstairs. Oh wait, no, you guys already saw this already. My dad recorded it. This is a, uh, oops, change of brightness. So, yeah, take this all out. All right, here we are, day three. Got painting going on up there. If you look at the floors, almost done. Uh, I know the brightness is a bit mad, but I'll try and darken it so you can see. So, it's almost there, almost coming together. Almost, almost. Looking good. These to vent the paint. Working hard, working yeah. hard. See, uh, Ross, is, Ross is working, working his fingertips on his phone. Okay, now I've finally set it up on my camera that when I'm walking and talking, the light should adjust, like you see. There we go. <coughs> the dust is killing me. As I was saying, um, hasn't sunk in yet that I'm a home owner. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. The floors are being done next week, which is the carpet. The laminated floor you might have seen already has been done. And um, yeah, it's all coming along slowly but surely. The best part, like the best thing of this house, and I'll show you, just bear me a second. We've got our play like okay, So we're coming out, let's turn it. And we go into the cave room. And when you get to this point, Look at the view out there. What is that? It's not the sea, it's the reservoir, but it's so beautiful. Like when the lights shine on it at night time, like from the buildings and everything, it's so, so cool. I'm gonna go back to the office tomorrow and yeah, and then come back in the night time, check it out day by day, see how it is, just vlog and just let you guys know how it is. But yes, 
people. I'm excited to share this journey with you. Um, once it's done, you can see my home. But let's just walk in to the front door. Um, sorry for the noise. Uh, but yeah, the lemon floor is almost done. You guys remembered what it was like before. Um, All right, so I've got James is getting married next week. Actually, he's actually going to be the first person that's sleeping over here. Not even my wife. <laughs> We've got oh. Sean and Tash. They tried to act surprised that the camera was on, but oh they didn't know. That... They bought me some non-alcoholic Christian uh, Holy Ghost. It doesn't say Christian on it, but it's non-alcoholic, so we know. So they are, uh, and we've got the guy James. When you see him next week, he'll be married. No, not next week. Week after. It is next week. Week after. What do you mean? Nine days. Yeah, ne what's day is today? Thursday. Yeah, you get him married next week Sunday. <clears throat> no, it's next week Sunday, James. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, we are almost there. Um, this is we're on Thursday, so oops, almost tripped. I'll just give you a little glimpse around. So my sofas have arrived. You can see, sorry, not say, uh, shout out Bergs who hooked me up with sofas because of Wayfair. They flopped me. I ordered a sofa, they told me they don't know where the sofa is, and I can't get my money back until they locate the sofa. But I can't talk today. Thankfully, I got my money back and I got some new sofas. But upstairs is done. Look at the carpets. Look at that. Look, 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 look at that. My battery's about to die, so I'm gonna run upstairs very quickly and try and show you the carpet. As you can see here, we have the bedroom. Well, this is the man cave. This is gonna be my studio. And then you can see, this is my bedroom. We're gonna put my stuff. Lovely view out there. There's the postman. He's come to deliver some mail. But yeah, man, this is it. Uh, well chuffed. All happy. Yeah, man. Peace out, guys. I don't know why I sound out of breath. I haven't jogged for like three weeks. It's quite bad. <laughs> so unfit. What's that? It just stops the bed from walking. What stops what? Alright, so we're setting up. The IKEA stuff's arrived. I know yesterday. I vlogged, I was waiting for Ikea stuff, it took, I think, um, five hours to arrive. No, six. Bruh. <laughs> Got no light bulbs in here, so we might struggle to see. Oh, look at my painting, I love this, it's a deer. It's my Michael Jordan painting, it's gone on the wall. I'll tag the artist in the vlog. True talent. Uh, yeah. So, we've got the place upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've been really busy. Um, I've been busy setting up. The painters are all gone. But, the living room is all coming together. So, bear with me. As I set everything up, it's gonna take a bit of time. I got basically a sofa, basically a sofa for the price of a sofa, does that make sense? Right, so I guess the next time I'll be seeing you guys is um, on part two. Hopefully that should be put out the next day from another. This is put out. I'm tired, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but thank you for watching this, thank you for Sticking through, listening to me talk and talk and talk and talk. Hopefully part two is less talking and more touring. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. I'm watching you.